Hi, Andy. Good to see you again. Um, I'm just wondering, after two rounds of the Six Nations Championship, how concerned are you at the attack side of the game? It just seems that there's a, a kind of a lack of a cutting edge there at the moment. Um, to say I'm concerned, uh, um, obviously we'd be stating the stating the obvious regarding uh, the points that we scored lately. Um, but were we were we going? Certainly behind the scenes and what we've seen over over some of the games, Corky, over over the last year, uh, I'm pretty confident in, in in where we are going. And in terms of your approach, particularly for the Italian game, that's the one we're going to focus on. Um, you know, there has been some suggestions that that maybe um, some of the the less experienced players should get a chance. But but from your point of view, uh, how are you going to approach uh, a match like that? Um, I'll do what's right for the team, and uh, what's right for the team is, is making sure that we get the best performance um, out of them. Um, we will pick the, the strongest side that, that we need to, to 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 make that happen. What are the changes you can make, I suppose, on a short-term basis with the, the coming games against Italy, Scotland, and England? The, the the biggest thing for me, the biggest thing for me is um, is is our understanding of our game understanding. Uh, but at the same time, uh, understanding where the space is, you know, and uh, like I keep saying to you boys, uh, and I ain't trying to make this uh, complicated at all because it's not complicated. It's, it's unbelievably simple. The run kick or pass element, as far as game understanding or decision making is concerned, is what's is where you can put pace onto the ball. You know, sometimes it's in front of you, sometimes it's to the side of you, sometimes there's no option whatsoever other than to 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 run with brute force and and, and do your best. You know. To do all that, you've got to be set and ready to go um, um, uh, as a team nice and early in the piece because you don't get time at international football to do anything different if you're not set nice and early. Uh, though, therefore, those spaces that you would normally set up at Pro 14 level, etc., tend to be there um, uh, 30 seconds later and they're not anymore. So we are creating opportunities through our game understanding. Um, are we seeing all those opportunities that we're creating or executing on, on those opportunities that we're creating? No, um, not, not at this moment in time. That's, that's obviously the work on and, um, and, and that's where we need to get to. And how much scope is there given to the players to, to take an opportunity and play with the sea in front of them on the moment? Well, again, you know, we can't complicate that because that's. I don't know. I don't know a team that that. I don't know a coach really that's ever said to them, "Don't take an opportunity." You know, don't take what's in front of them. Um, it's showing the pictures constantly of of what they need to be able to do to execute. Um, that is 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 uh, is key for us and. Uh, gone are the days now where it's just up to the halfbacks to see those. Um, you know, it ain't just up to the centres or the or the outside guys to to be able to do that. It's a team issue, you know, and uh, we all need to be on the same page regarding that. Already, some of the pundits are starting to talk about pressure that comes with the gig. But as head coach, uh, how do you deal with that? I've dealt with it all my life. Uh, it's you know, you you either embrace the pressure or you get buried by it. Um, I enjoy it, you know. It's, it makes you feel alive. Um, uh, you know that when you when you're taking the gig on. Um, I believe if you've not got pressure in your life, you know it's not living. It's not. It's not living anyway. So um, it goes with the territory, I suppose. With that, then, how significant uh, are the next few weeks, and what are you taking as the pluses from the first two games that you can look to build on? Well, yeah, I suppose. Um, the the plus the character in the side with in, in the Welsh game, and obviously the disappointment in, in that 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 it was there to be won, but we didn't quite get over the line. But the character and, and the will and the fight to um, to uh, to try and achieve that was was there for all to see. I would have thought. Um, and then in the French game, obviously everyone's talking about just just how good a team that they are, you know. But I was saying, as I was saying to you, the game takes a different course um, if it goes. After 23 minutes, we're, we're, we're 10 points up. Um, but having said that, uh, we've got to we've got to be better. We've, we've got to be better. You know, there's no excuses. We, we we've got to be better at um, at uh, uh, imposing our game on the opposition, and that's what we want to do against Italy.